A group of teenagers who murdered a Sudanese man in an unprovoked attack have been sentenced to non-parole periods of between five and eight years. The sentencing judge said the youths had good prospects of rehabilitation and agreed to delay their transfer to an adult prison. Candice Marcus reports from Adelaide. The victim was socialising with friends at this Ottaway Oval in 2009 when, without warning, they were set upon with knives, a baseball bat and pool cues. 26-year-old Akola Cock, known as Alex, was repeatedly stabbed and beaten. Dor Archek was also stabbed but managed to flee. Four teenagers who can't be identified and one of their older brothers were found guilty of murder. Just as Margaret Nyland said one of the boys had fabricated a story that the Sudanese men were responsible for injuries on his chest, and this was a catalyst for the violence that followed. She said the attack was the result of the impulsive and foolish actions of a group of young men who should have known better. The judge said the youth had been making good progress in youth detention and she allowed each of them to stay there until the end of next year so they could complete their studies before they're transferred to an adult jail. The two youths armed with knives received non-parole periods of eight years. The youngest, who was 15, received a non-parole period of six years and two months. And the only youth who wasn't carrying a weapon was given a minimum sentence of five years and two months. The only adult in the group was given the mandatory minimum non-parole period of 20 years. At least two of the attackers have lodged appeals against their convictions. The court heard another young man who was not charged is under investigation over allegations by the accused that he was the main player in the attack. Candice Marcus, Lateline.